Greeting saints in the name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and personal Savior. We are going to get our scripture reading this today from the book of Acts chapter 20 verse 7 until 12. I'm going to read it from NIV. It reads as follows. On the first day of the week, we came together to break bread. Paul spoke to the people and because he intended to leave the next day, kept on talking until midnight. There were many lambs in the upstairs room where we were meeting. Seated in a window was a young man named Eutychus, who was sinking into a deep sleep as Paul talked on and on. When he was sound asleep, he fell to the ground from the third story and was picked up dead. Paul went down, threw himself on the young man and put his arms around him. Don't be alarmed, he said, he's alive. Then he went upstairs again and broke bread and ate. After talking until daylight, he left. The people took the young man home alive and were greatly comforted. Paul here was on his third missionary journey. And then when they were in Troas, they were joined by Luke, the doctor. They started in, or rather they passed through Ephesus, preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. From Ephesus, they planned to go to Troas, where they were going through Macedonia and Greece. The Bible said that they spoke about Jesus Christ. They, they healed those that were sick. They, 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 they did great things, great exploit in the name of Jesus. And then when they arrived at Troas, they gathered in a house. It was a private house because there was no synagogue around there. It was a three-story house. When they got in there, a lot of people were there. And then uh, he started preaching about Jesus Christ. On the window, there was a young man who seated there by the name of Eutychus. And there were a lot of lamps because it was at night for, for, for the sake of light. As he was talking, because that was his farewell to the church, he was saying many things and people were excited to hear him. And then it was also a wonderful goodbye to him because he knew very well that he was not going to come back to them. As he was preaching, talking on and on, it was about midnight. The young man, the Bible says, he fell asleep and then... Uh, he when he fell to the ground the bible said when when they realized that he was down there he was dead remember luke was the doctor he could not record him dead if he did not make sure that he was dead he checked all the necessary pulses and then the damn man was dead and then he went back, I believe, to Paul to report to him, to say the young man was dead. And Paul paused right there. Hang on, what was happening? That is not how he was going to say goodbye to the church in Troas. That is not how he was exited Troas. He said, you know what? I believe God because I believe God of the resurrection. And then he, the Bible said he went down there. I believe in his heart he was saying, God... This is not how this chapter is going to close. This is not how this season is going to end. We are not going to end in funeral procession. We're not going to end like these people crying. We're not going to end like these people being desperate. We're not going to you know, close up like these people being been 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 in, in, in tatters. Then he went and threw himself onto the young man. The Bible says he, he recovered and he brought the good message to say he's alive, don't be desperate. I just want to say to you, to you, child of God, today you must finish well in every aspect of your life. Make sure that in, in every aspect, in every stage of your life, finish well. You are not going to finish in, in tears. You are not going to finish in fears. You are not going to finish in troubles. Call on to the name of Jesus Christ and finish well. You are going to finish this chapter of your life 
in, 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 in triumph. You are going to finish this chapter of your life in revival. There's going to be revival today in your life. There's going to be newness today in your life. There's going to be a new chapter starting right now in your life because God is with you. When God is with you, believe you me, you will never fail. When God is with you, believe me, you will never be in tatters. You will never be in depression. You will never, you will never cry. You will never fight a fight that is defeated because God Almighty is with you. You will finish you well. Technically so, you will finish up well. Clinically so, you will finish well in victory, in triumph, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, O God Almighty, for breakthrough in our lives. Thank you, Mudima Katsipilin, that we are going to finish up well in this chapter. In the name of Jesus, amen.